Wednesday, Saint, Feast of St. Boniface. And we're for the first reading from our liturgy this, this morning is 2 Timothy, looking at chapter 1. For this reason, I remind you to stir into flame the gift of God that, of God that you have you have the impossession of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather power and love and self-control. So do not be ashamed of the testimony to our Lord, nor of me, a prisoner for his sake. But bear your share of hardship for the gospel of the strength that comes from God. Hmm? Do not be afraid. Stir up into flame. May God give the power of of love and self-control. Do not be afraid. Do not be intimidated, right? Do not be ashamed of that. This is many years ago, many, 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 many years ago when flights at airlines used to actually give you a dinner, a real dinner. You probably have young people remember that, these plastic trays and actually gave you silverware. And so I ride, the, you know, I go on a plane almost immediately, somebody in before the plane takes off, I, I fall asleep. And so what happened when I fell asleep, when they were giving the food out, I was fast asleep. So everybody has eaten. Then the sewers came by and said, gee, hey, I, I get a meal. I was sleeping. Oh, no problem. They brought my meal to me, and I put it down, put it on that little lever, whatever it is. And right by sitting beside me was this little kid, eight years old, whatever, little young boy. And crazy enough, I got my meal, and I, he's staring at me. He's watching me. Maybe a little uncomfortable a little bit at first, and I hate to admit this, I was wanted to say a prayer before, you know, say grace before eating. But somehow I was feels very self-conscious with this boy looking at me. And so I quickly had my little dessert, maybe it might have been a piece of cake. I said, Hey, you want a piece of cake? He took it. So as he was busy eating his cake, I quickly made my, my sign of the cross and said my prayer. Isn't that crazy? To be intimidated by an eight or nine year old kid. Hopefully now I won't do that now, but back then I felt so so conscious. Again, I'm not really happy about that. A lot of times we're intimidated about our faith. We're fine when we're in the church, we're on our grounds here, but outside of that, we become shy. No, God has put his hand upon us and we're not to be intimidated. We're not to be ashamed. So be who you are. You don't, you don't have to be showy, but don't back down and don't limit yourself because of what other people's opinion. Be who you are, a believer in Jesus. Amen. Let's go.